Hey everyone, so this video is going to be on the Huggies Pull-Ups, the new leaf. There's Huggies Pull-Ups, the regular kind, then there is the new leaf. So that's what this video is specifically going to be on. Okay, so to start off, these are for my three-year-old. Uh, these are the 4T, 5T sizes. As you can see, this particular size is 38 to 50 pounds. Um, we have been using the regular pull-ups for so long, but I wanted to try these because it says that these are softer and they have plant-based ingredients and, you know, frozen. So I was like, you know what? Let's give them a try because, again, I was like, well, with plant-based and softer, it just made me kind of feel better. I don't know. I guess the other ones are fine too, but just wanted to try it. So let me show you these and I will give you my review. That's pretty much what the package says. Nothing really specific. Let's see if it says anything here. Fun coloring activities. Body oh, here we go. Okay, so clinically proven hypoallergenic. And I do have to say my son does have super sensitive skin and these have not irritated his skin at all, but the other ones don't irritate his skin either. So, um, so we're good on that part. So these uh, say soft refastenable sides for easy changes, cottony soft and gentle leak protection made without harsh ingredients, breathable materials for healthy skin, snowflake design fades when wet. All right. Let's take them out. And look, here's the fun coloring. Does anybody ever take this apart and color it? I don't know. We never have. I guess we could. But I was just wondering, does anybody actually ever do that? My kids kind of just use these to put monster trucks in or toys. Okay. So here they are. As you can tell, we've already opened the package. And here's the design. No matter what one you take out it's the same design see but i'm just going to show you two here i like that you can see it says back so you know if you're putting it on wrong it says the size and it says back i just lied to you i just lied to you look at this they are different designs i've been this is the second package okay and i've been putting these on my son and i have not realized that they actually are different designs. I guess because you see how the colors are so similar. I didn't even realize that. Oh, wow. Well, I'm literally pulling them all out now. <laughs> the rest that are in there. Okay, so I do think it's the two designs. Took me a minute to realize that, huh? Real video, not editing that out. <laughs> all right, okay. So you can see... We have two designs within these uh, new leaf. For the frozen, we have the little, um, oh, who is that? Kristoff? That's Kristoff. And is this fat? I think so. And you can see these are just the leaves. I can't believe I didn't catch that. So here's the front. Oh, is the fronts the same? They're probably not the same either. Oh, they're not. But you can see the mistake that I made not thinking that they were different. Because look, you have Olaf here and you have Olaf here. But obviously, Kristoff and Sven are on these ones, but not on these ones. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, the design is cute. They really are softer, I will tell you. They are definitely softer. Uh, but complete, you know complete disclosure. I don't know that softer is necessarily a good thing, um, especially for my son, because softer for our experience here just meant that they kind of rip easier. Now, of course, you're going to have diapers and pull-ups that rip every once in a while when you're putting them on your kid, but... Hi, honey. Sorry, my kid came in to show me a bunch of slime that he had in his hand. Slime! Um, where was I? So, yeah, I don't know that softer is necessarily better because um, I have put these on him and I would say maybe two. Uh, now I've used about a sleeve and a half. I think two or three of them as I was putting them on, they tore like right, right here. They tore. Uh, I still was able to use the diaper just fine. So it wasn't a wasted diaper. Like it didn't really... 
um, affect the integrity of the diaper, the little tear, but it does seem like because these are softer, they might not be as sturdy, I guess you could say. Uh, I still like them, still gonna use the rest of them. Okay, so here are the sides. They are easy to tear off. Now, full disclosure, I never even tear off the sides. Whenever, you know, like nighttime, he falls asleep for the day and I'm just gonna change the diaper, take it off for the shower, whatever the reason, I don't bother doing that. I just rip the sides, <laughs> rip the sides off because the whole thing tears pretty easy. Um, when he goes to the bathroom wearing these, he doesn't take off the sides either. He just pulls them down and then pulls them back up. Now, sometimes you may have like a cheek hanging out or like the top here might be folded down on his stomach. So they kind of do need to be readjusted. Uh, but I usually don't deal with like this. Although if you want to, it's easy to um, deal with and it's easy to come off, but it doesn't, I've never had to where he's, you know, doing his thing throughout the day, playing at the playground, whatever. I've never had the sides fall down. Um, sometimes a cheek might come out but I've never had the sides fall down. And then here is the leg holes, if you will, for the diaper. I keep saying diaper, but you know I mean pull up. But here's the inside. And then you see the elastic right here at the top. So yes, I definitely give these a thumbs up. Uh, but as far as sturdiness, I probably am going to stay with the other ones, like I said. But that is the Huggies Pull-Ups New Leaf Diapers. Please give this video a thumbs up and share. Thanks for watching.